Hello Alt Spotters and welcome back to the Alt Spot Crypto Community Channel here on YouTube. Today we are going to be looking at Inspect, the new layer 2 for X. Let's inspect. Inspect. <laughs> Just a very quick one before we start. Anybody who got in on the uh, Miro craze, the first video, I hope you're enjoying very nearly a 10x on your money. I have had a couple of uh, messages off a few of you, and you seem to be doing very, very well. And that's what Old Spot's all about: is to try and find these gems early enough so that we can maximise the amount of profits we can take out. And yes, I do understand that you may have a completely different opinion to me. That is the beauty of the world. That is the beauty of the cryptocurrency space. Not everyone will agree with my opinions here. My opinions are my opinions. They are not financial advice. While we're looking through the white paper, if you notice anything, spot anything, or see anything that I don't cover, please comment in the comment section below. We are a community and we want to engage with each other to better everyone else's knowledge. So let's have a look at the Inspect white paper. Inspect token, the new blockchain bashing NFT and crypto finding plugin for X, formerly known as Twitter. What is it? So it's a new NFT and crypto finding plugin for X, formerly known as Twitter. Today we are going to go through some points from the white paper and see whether it's one to consider for the watch lists. I'm sure good old uh, Elon Musk will have his hands all over this one. So as I said before, let's inspect, inspect. So it was launched originally in December 2021. The Inspect token, ticker INSP, offers its users tools to monitor NFT and crypto community growth, follow industry influences, interesting, and access vital market insights. This is all done with a new Chrome browser extension which currently is boasting 40,000 plus weekly users and a web-based app with over 150,000 users currently. And Inspect also have integrated revenue generating protocols that add value for users and promote the community's growth. The token enables decentralized governance, ensuring the Inspect token remains community driven and is responsive to users' needs. So where does it fit in the current market? Inspect's clear market fit is evident in the booming crypto market. Inspect is perfectly positioned to address the rising demand for NFT products and all services fueled by blockchain technology and decentralized finance. The active community participation validates the platform's relevance and capacity to address the growing demand for NFT related products and services. I, mean, I know NFTs are big. I mean, I'm not into NFTs. So that's probably why the NFT side of things doesn't excite me that much. It's saying it does have competitive advantage. Uh, that is comprehensive social analytics tool and user friendly interface sets it apart from all of its competitors. Sure if it does have a lot of competitors because it does sound quite of a, a unique project to me. Uh, the features cater for a broad audience, including artists, investors, and enthusiasts. In 2021, a global blockchain survey indicated that 76% of respondents believed digital assets will serve a strong alternative or even a replacement for fiat currencies in the next five to 10 years. Okay, I agree with that highlighting the importance of such platforms. So it's basic. It's basically going to be like a, so, so when we go to, to Coinbase, when we go to TradingView, when we go to all these different places, even when we go to YouTube to our different channels and Twitter to our different people, I think what this is sort of trying to portray is that it's going to be a plugin for the X platform even though it doesn't say anywhere in the white paper that I can see so far that X is exclusively named. So, like, 
I think it's going to be where someone puts the plugin in and they'll be able to have access to all of these different uti utilities that we all, we all go to different places for now. So Elon Musk having oversight on the X platform, yeah, it's, nothing is going to happen in his business without him and his platinum pen signing it off, is it? So you know, the research and analysis they must have put into creating this won't have left any stones unturned. Now, I can't see Elon Musk making mistakes with the future sort of viability of this. He will obviously sign off on it. Now, Elon stating he wanted to make X a platform of everything. So Inspect Tech could be explained in the future. So it could be expanded in the future to cover other areas. So for that that part, it's bullish. Future growth and potential with the NFT market continuing to expand, inspect growth potential remains strong. It's a valuable tool for navigating the complex landscape of NFTs. The platform is well positioned to capitalize on the increasing demand for NFT products. It repeats itself quite a bit, doesn't it? Report indicates surveys, organizations are actively researching piling blockchain technology. Yeah, it's just like referring back to surveys that have been done on NFT popularity. 150,000 active users, a user friendly interface. It's obviously important. The platform is an invaluable resource for NFT market participants. As it market continues to surge, Inspect is primed for sustained growth and success in evolving digital asset landscape. So I can't really argue with that. I mean, I'm not personally an NFT buff, but I can certainly understand the narrative and the space for this tech, or for this kind of project. It's also really interesting to me that they haven't mentioned X once exclusively in the whole white paper. You know, they've referred to social platforms, which to me is bullish, it's even more bullish because it's potentially leaving a door open for this tech to become more widely adopted in different ways across multiple platforms. Whether the tech's patented, whether it's exclusive to them, whether what well, I don't know, you know what I mean? But it's still another bullish tip in my book. Governance within the ecosystem, uh, a decentralized autonomous organization. So it's a DAO. Uh, structure is employed to enable community driven governance. The Inspect DAO leverages its token as an ERC20 compliant token the primary instrument for governing the ecosystem and its integrated protocols. It also provides a framework that allows community members to actively participate in the decision making and shaping of the platform's future direction and development. In terms of its utility, the token not only acts as a traditional governance token, but also boasts a wide range of additional functionalities. Token holders can access inspect protocol features and exclusive premium benefits, making the token more versatile and valuable within the ecosystem. Moreover, the token plays a crucial role as a payment method and as an incentive mechanism to promote desirable community behaviors and actions. The economics have as many liquid tokens as possible to bootstrap the decentralized nature of the protocol while allowing the current core team to establish the organizational's fundamental pillars. So it also, and it also has um, staking functionality as well for those that are interested in staking it. In terms of its payment functionality, the token serves as a versatile payment option. So the white paper says within the platform, offering users flexibility and choice in the transaction. So the platform's requirement in transactions generates inherent demand, which increases more users, business. This creates a sustainable network that benefits early adopters. That's, that's more bearish and bullish in my opinion, uh, and supporters 
given the limited supply of tokens, 1 billion max supply. Okay, so it's not massive, massive, massive max supply. Mario has 1 billion max supply. <laughs> uh, Long-term long sustainability and viability. The success of the blockchain project requires a sustainable business model to support its growth. It's going to incorporate different protocols, advertising networks, and uh, implement a social to earn mechanic, creating multiple income streams, ensuring financial stability. Revenue streams not only fund the project development, but they enable the project to adapt and grow. So this basically is just them saying that they intend to use and sell advertising to generate the income and promote social to earn mechanics similar to what is currently used on X platform and other social platforms. And social to earn mechanics generally mean it's like a double whammy really as it's incentivizing the creators, for example, like YouTube content creators, to create better content, which in turn generates more followers, which in turn generates more money through advertising. Because they're getting the advertising out to more people. Similarly, I imagine they'll employ a system similar to YouTube, where I imagine it be like a mon you need this amount to get monetized, etc. They go on in the white paper to talk about community empowerment. Uh, incorporating community governed revenue generating protocols into the crypto projects is vital for promoting long-term sustainability so there's three protocols one two three that are noted in the white paper that I'll quickly run through uh, so they've got the inspect listing protocol I've shortened a lot of these paragraphs down, by the way, as they do repeat themselves quite a lot, and I'm trying not to repeat for the purpose of this video. The listing protocol is a revenue generating blockchain protocol designed for the NFT platform, which streamlines the listing application process for NA NFT projects. Okay, simple enough. The protocol charges inspect tokens as a listing fee defined as a transparent, secure and fair system for listing projects, generating revenue for the DAO Treasury and incentivizing community participation, further solidifying Inspect's position as a leading player in Web3 and social fi space. The ADS protocol, which is the other, the other protocol that they're implementing, this is a revenue generating blockchain protocol designed to seamlessly integrate into the platform, leveraging its existing user base to monetize advertising space. So that protocol is all about monetization of advertising. The protocol operates through a decentralized auction system. Auction system. Okay, interesting. In which advertisers place bids for advertising space using inspect tokens and the tokens used for winning bids transferred to the DAO treasury. The advertising content from winning bidders will be displayed on the platform for a predetermined duration. You see, what I'd like to see here is like a burning mechanism that's built in. You know, in, in, instead of it going into the DAO treasury, now, if the tokens were burned as a part of the functionality, it would become like more deflationary. It'd help inflate the price, I think, of the token over time. And it, it would just, it'd make it rarer having a, having a burning mechanism in it, which would obviously drive up the price. It's the old supply and demand theory, isn't it? It's engagement. So the engagement protocol is the other one. A uh, solution for integrating revenue producing a community driven campaign system into the platform, enabling the project to create targeted campaigns and incentivizing community participation through token rewards. 
Additionally, the protocol generates revenue for the Dow Treasury for a 30% commission. 30% robbery. It doesn't have the best um, tokenomics in the world, in my opinion, but it does have what I think could potentially be a groundbreaking utility. That's why I'm interested in this. It does have a timeline on the website. Uh, you can see what's happening in Q1, 2, 3, and 4. Current listings still not on any of the big three exchanges. So from what I can see here on CoinMarketCap, it has KuCoin, Bybit, Uniswap, Gate.io, PancakeSwap, BitGet, MexC. That's pretty much that's pretty much it so no coinbase no binance no crypto.com are you telling me that this won't get listed on them exchanges with who we know who is backing it another backer that i've just seen here and while i was doing my research was alex becker some like him some hate him i'm indifferent that's a different story but he does he, he does pump all coin markets and he has a lot of followers. Do we really think that this won't get adopted on a major exchange? And that's all we're looking for here yeah? to get into it before any big exchange listing and then become somebody else's and you know, so somebody else becomes our exit liquidity. And that's how we make our big X returns. Let me know what you think of Inspect in the comment section below. Like and subscribe oh, to the channel. Yes. I think this one's one with a lot of potential. So what do we think? One for the watch lists. I don't think I'm personally going to put anything in it myself right now, but it's certainly one that I'm going to be keeping a very, very close eye on in the coming weeks and months. Videos coming up. We hopefully have a live stream shortly that I am working on with the Bitcoin biker. We're going to be talking about some controversial subjects uh, on off ramping and potential future crypto bridges. And I'm sure you'll all be very, very interested in what we've got to talk about. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.